Hi everyone, in this video we will shed some light on how to effectively test custom product pages. So first, what are custom product pages, which are also commonly known as CPP? Custom product pages were a feature that were introduced in iOS 15 that have been a game changer for customizing user journeys. A custom product page is an app store page that is customized to a specific audience or message. You can make up to 35 custom product pages and generate a unique URL for each. Each page can have different screenshots, promotional text, app preview, and a unique URL to land users to the relevant pages. For now, we are able to target individual ads to a custom product page only on Apple search ads and Facebook ads. We will share details on how to structure and run ads for these in the later part of the video. Now, what are the benefits of CPP? The number one benefit of using CPP, as mentioned earlier, is that they help improve the user journey by allowing you to show targeted ads that direct to similar themed app store pages, which are your custom product pages. We will talk more about this in detail with examples in the subsequent slides. What are the type of tests you can run with CPP and how can you measure the results? You can target specific audiences such as age, gender, and ethnicity, geographical locations by launching country or city-specific pages, and promote different services or products based on seasonality. One can test different value propositions or player personas for gaming categories. Here in this example, we have a job search app that runs ads in three cities, Boston, Atlanta, and Houston. We are running separate campaigns for each of these cities with relevant city-specific ads that take the users through the relevant custom product page. So the Boston audiences are shown the ads mentioning Boston in the copy and are then taken to the Boston App Store page. Similar is for Atlanta and Houston. You can see the performance of your product pages at the Analytics tab in your App Store Connect dashboard. In this example here, Houston has the highest number of product page views and downloads. This is mainly because we have higher budgets for the Houston campaign. Boston looks promising based on the conversion rate, but I'd say that the performance is so far inconclusive as the total downloads are comparatively less than the other pages. You can also look at the retention rates and make decisions based on the relevant retention trends. Go to the retention tab in your Apps to Connect dashboard Add a filter for product page and then select the page you want to review the retention metrics for. Moving on, we have another sample strategy for a meditation app. We have split our audiences into two broad categories. User group one, that is focused towards stress and anxiety audience, and user group two, that is focused towards sleep and insomnia. Now, each of these users will be shown ads with specific visuals and messaging and will be diverted to the same themed CPP. Based on the results, we see that the stress and anxiety user group has a higher conversion rate and D1 retention and is therefore the winning segment. How to set up custom product pages? You can set up custom product pages on your Apps to Connect dashboard. Once you set up the page, it goes into review and can take about 24 hours before it gets approved. Once approved, you can copy the link generated and use it in your apps. How to test CPP on ASA. These are some of the campaigns we are running on Apple search ads. To see the option to run a CPP ad, you need to click on the campaign and go to the ad group level and then click on ads. You can already see the two ads in here, one which is directed to CPP and the other to the default product page. You can run only one CPP ad within each ad group on Apple Search Ads. To create a new ad, click on Create Ad, and you will see a screen with available CPP that are already approved on App Store Connect. Select the one that you want to run and launch the ad. This was for Apple. Now to test CPP on Facebook, go to the ad level and add the URL of your CPP in the setup. You can make changes to your existing ads or launch new ads as per your strategy. All right, so that's all we have about testing custom product pages. Feel free to add your comments if you have any questions or your experience testing these for your app. 
check out our other helpful resources on the Mobile User Acquisition Show and our YouTube channel. Thank you.